very briefly, we want to do a professional. So this is the professional academics. We want to do this is going to be PhD level work, okay? And part of it, we also need to refute some of the concepts of academics, including those with three letters, PhDs, not just three letters, but they might be tenure track professors. They might have classes. They might have basically undergraduates. They might have, you know, basically they have tenureship. They're working professionals and, you know, subject matter experts and they're teaching. So there's a lot of points of disagreement. So here's, first of all, we need to, define something so you you ever heard of this this uh film that's called god's not woke no shoots we messed it up you ever heard this film that's called god's not dead so so that that's like a christian film but what we're going to be discussing is a different concept mark saying woke so to, to understand this first of all to understand social class to understand social class there's a lot of misconceptions about this, a lot of misconceptions about what's, what is, what is not social class. Why, whether one, why is this so important? Because first of all, there's a lot of nonsense. So let's, let's get to the unprofessional nonsense first. If you listen to classical music, you must be high class. If you have five PhDs, you must be high class. That's all complete bullshit. If you drink uh, expensive wine, you must be high class. This, that, all of this cultural crap, sociological cultural crap is woke nonsense. Marx made it hardcore, very simple. Social class is exactly scientific. So this is, this is not propaganda. So people might think, you know, oh, oh you, what is scientific socialism? Is that, that sounds really propagandistic. Social class is very hardcore. If, you're, if, if you don't understand this, if you don't agree with what we're saying now, by the end of this lecture, you will agree. And it's so subversive that within, probably within a month, even if you consciously don't agree, you're gonna agree. Class is determined, not by a set of tastes. Do, do, you, do you like fucking Wagner music? Do you like red wine? All, or, you know, coffee, all of that. Do you, do you drink cat poop coffee? That, that is all complete fucking bullshit. Social class is like this. Who's a capitalist? Who's working class? We've already, we sort of covered this. Class is completely determined vis-a-vis -vis your relation, every, any individual's relationship vis-a-vis -vis the means of production, specifically ownership and or control over the means of production, which can be realized like this. When you own enough of the means of production, for example, um, you derive all of your income from passive dividend income you're essentially a petty capitalist, okay? If you have to sell yourself, this is why we, th we, we absolutely think it, capitalism is inhumane. It's a, it's, it's a form of, you know, basically exploitation, if not prostitution, basically where someone has to sell their mind power, sell their labor physical power in exchange for a wage and a true Marxist is always going to say that is an unfair exchange because there's something called the surplus value of labor where basically the the worker in a in a work day they produce you know how much amount of profit okay the the, the majority of that is extracted by the capitalists and then a small pittance is given back to the wage laborer, but the but they don't the wage laborer doesn't get back the basically their principle their, their what they worked in their day of work. Basically, if they so if the worker in in an eight hour shift if they produce for example eight hundred dollars worth of profit, all for example just hypothetical what they might get back in wages even though they created eight hundred dollars worth of profit they might get back only in wages a petty $80, okay? So they don't get back the complete profit. So, and, and this is why capitalists always have an advantage. There are instruments that give you, you know, basically dividends that, that pay you dividends and you don't do anything. You, you don't do anything. You don't trade mental labor. You don't trade physical labor and they still have to keep giving you money. It's a fucking unfair deal. So class is determined 
exactly based upon your relationship vis-a-vis -vis the means of production, whether, if you, whether you own the means of production or you don't own the means of production. You can, be, you can have 10 PhDs to your name. You can have a great taste of classical music. You can be the most refined person in, in motherfucking American literature, okay? You can, you can be Shakespeare and all that, all that shit, okay? You can be a poetic. But if, if you're a university wage slave, you're a wage slave, okay? So culture, we have to combat the sociologist. To, to, and to a lesser degree, there's this new idea that people talk about class and the intersections of race. Uh, basically, they, they have this thing, the intersections of race, class, gender. There could be components to that, but, but in our opinion, in our you know, hardcore Marxian perspective, it's only class. Okay, so everything else is complete not. It's not complete nonsense. But it's all minor. Race, gender, all of that is minor. How is that minor? Okay, let's, for example, you're, you're, you're a minority. For example, uh, let's, let's just imagine, you know, basically, uh, whatever, you know, whether you're Asian American, uh, you know, if, 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 if you're an Asian American and you're rich and you're loaded as fuck, if, 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 you're, if you're black and you're loaded as fuck and, and someone calls you, imagine the worst horrible slur in the, in the lexicon, they call you that. If you're loaded, if you're rich, if you're a wealthy black man, all you, you basically all you, all you can, you know, you can just turn around and say, get your bitch ass back to work. I'm high rolling in Las, in Vegas while you're working. Okay, so class is the basis of power. It, it, so people talk about this woke stuff, who gave you a motherfucking, what's that word, microaggression? There's no, to, there's no, there's no fucking thing as a microaggression. Somebody, if, so in some communities, they people get offended if you ask them where they're from. I always ask people where they're from. I ask white people where they're from. I want to know: Are you from? Is your ancestry German? Is your ancestry French? Is your ancestry Italian? Are are you are you like 100% German, or is it more like mixed? Okay, so you know, basically, I'm kind of interested in that. I always tell you where I'm from: Zhongguo, Beijing, China. So, so, so this, so first of all, so I want to, I want to put in, put an end to this microaggression thing. Where are you from? Oh, that, oh, that's, that's all fucking, okay. Okay, I, I get where, the, where the Asian Americans come from. Because they're born in America. Because with that, okay, I understand. When, when people ask them where they're from, it implies that, oh, are you somehow less than American? Uh, you know, why aren't you asking the quote unquote white fellow over there where they're from? Hey, are you from France for Egypt? I, I actually do. I, I'm not being a smart ass. I, I want to know if you have Germanic heritage or, you know, French heritage or something like that. So, but this whole, but this idea of gender, of anything other than class being the basis for, for power and control based on class, it's that, that's, to us, that's complete nonsense. Social class is com only determined. Do you own the means of production? Do you have to work? If you have to, if you have to get your ass up, set your alarm, and get your ass up and be at some employer, uh, what's the consequence if you're not on time? You know, maybe, maybe you get fired, and if you get fired, if that's a problem for you, then you're working. Then you're working class. It's that simple. You, it doesn't. You can have five PhDs. You can love classical music. You can have. You can drink all this Pinot Noir, both fucking bullshit wine over, you know, whatever, $3 wine, none of that literature, your, how, your, how you, how you present yourself, your motherfucking manners, if you drop F-bombs, or if you're refined, if you introduce yourself, you know, hello, good sir, some motherfucking bullshit, it's about, do you control the means of production? If you have to work for a living, you're working class. If, if you own the means of production and you don't have to work, you're a capitalist. And there's degradations like petite, bourgeois, bourgeois, if you're Donald Trump, you're, you're bourgeois, bourgeois. So, you know, basically this, so this, we, we had to get that, get, get, get that bullshit out of the way. What, what's a capitalist? What's working class? Now, you know.